This belt is amazing and I got it for five. There is no discrepancies that I have found that makes this any different to the ones that you'd get from the shops. My name is Yolanda Melody and I'm a shopaholic but I'm also the most thrifty, bargain hunting, penny saving person that you will ever meet. In this video series I will be showing you each and every faux designer item in my extensive collection. Where I got it from and how cheap it was to buy. I am not exaggerating when I say that my designer handbag collection is insane. But what's more insane is that the most I have paid for one single item is £30. In fact, most on average cost me less than £5, but anyway, for the sake of discretion, I will be referring to these items as dupes or faux, but between me and you, the items that I'm gonna show you are straight up carbon copies of luxury. Some come with tags, some with receipts, and all of them have have logos. Enjoy! Hi guys, welcome to another video! <laughs> yes, everything that you see in the thumbnail is legit. Today is part three of my designer haul series. Designer. <laughs> this episode I'm really excited about because these are all the things that I've got online, which means you guys are getting something out of this. I'm showing you that it's perfectly possible to get this stuff online at a very, very good price. As you can see, I'm wearing my Machino top, which by the way cost me £11. Today we've got some bags, we've got some shoes, we've got belties, phone cases. I'm a little bit obsessed. <laughs> so let's just stop jibber jabbering and let's get on to the video. The first item, we're starting off strong guys. This is one of my absolute <laughs> faves. <laughs> If you watch a lot of my videos, you will know that I absolutely love bum bags. This is my LV one. The detailing, guys, the detailing, let me just say, is amazing. <laughs> You've got the stamp that's sewn in on the inside and on the front. The lining doesn't feel luxury, but it does definitely exist. <laughs> at least. If you watch my previous video with the Louis Vuitton bag, there was no lining at all and I was just like, what? <laughs> Even the little details here, like you can see, you've got the LV written all here. I suppose you could even carry the handbag like that. And you know what guys, they've got top marks here because every single part of the upholstery, I think it is, wherever you see gold, it has the logo stamped in. Even on this bottom part here, it's literally got the brand written across. You've got a secret zipper at the back here if you go to festivals and stuff. Imagine all the things that you could put in here. Oh my god! <laughs> and it comes with an authenticity card. Behold, the authenticity. If that's not official, then I don't know what is. Looks pretty legit to me. <laughs> now, if you've been keeping up with this series, you know that I refer to these items as dupes or faux. You know what they are. I don't need to say. This is an item that I'm gonna be using all of the time. I'm absolutely obsessed with bum bags, as I said before. I don't have to carry anything. I can literally just put this on and I'm good to go. Just trying to put this thing on. Um, hold on. I just say guys that I'm absolutely exhausted and I low-key think I'm having a mental breakdown but still gonna film the show must go on because otherwise I'll die the show must go on the show must go on people want content people want videos people need their content Cause they need a distraction from the fact the world is ending, yeah. Cause they need a distraction from the fact that the world ending. Mia, stop it. Ugh. Say hi to the camera, my little baby. <laughs> my cat's trying to get into the bag. Um. <laughs> ah. 
Oh, what was I talking about? <clears throat> the bag. This bag was 28 pounds. Yes, you heard that correctly. I am a wizard. This item came from DHgate. Quick tip, if you um, ever want to search on DHgate, don't put in the brand, put in the name of the handbag. For example, you could type in Neverfull. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what the Neverfull bag is. I'll just pop it up on the screen. Also, you could type in Palm Springs. Ta -da! And then you'll see at the top that there's a popular seller. Look at their items. That is probably the best tip that I can give in this video but if you stay tuned and you subscribe I will be releasing more tips in a very clever way. Anyway next item is a machino bag. Ta -da! This was the first machino bag that I managed to get hold of. This was from iOffer. For anyone who remembers iOffer they were the go-to place to get these types of bags from um, but someone ruined it for everyone. Ow, my eye. And stop that from happening, so now we all use DHgate. But the good thing is, the sellers on DHgate, they go next level with their quality. I'm not kidding you. The stuff that I got from my offer was often hit and miss, and it was quite shoddy. As you can see with this bag, there's a lot of loose threads. Usually I say I'm not really that bothered about it, but there is an excessive amount. The lining, again, not really much put into it. It feels sturdy, but at the same time, the material is not that fab. There is a lot of scratches at the front with the logo. I think that's pretty much my fault though because I have worn this quite a few times. And all in all, I love, I love the design. The design is just me all over. However, this is one of those items that will look great from afar, but when you get up close, it's a little bit shoddy. Okay, these next items that I have, <laughs> I know that everybody is gonna want these. Behold, <laughs> the famous Gucci belt that everybody and their dog wanted, wore. Literally every single person on Instagram has been seen wearing this. And I jumped on the trend. I can tell you, 100% certified, I actually know what I'm talking about with this one. <laughs> this is identical to the original. There is no discrepancies that I have found that makes this any different to the ones that you'd get from the shops. And you know why I know this? because my friend bought this for £250 when it came out and I got it for five. Well, actually, I got it for free. If you watched one of my previous videos, you'll see that I had a Gucci bag. There was some kind of mess up with the order. And I ended up filing a dispute and the seller refunded me all of the money, including the money that I'd paid for this. So it's the emperor's new clothes, guys. It's the emperor's new clothes. How many times have I worn this? Probably about three times. Am I a huge fan of it? Not that much. Did I buy it because everybody else had it and I just thought, I want to add this to the collection? Yes, that is what I did. The belt even has a hallmark or something with some kind of collection of numbers on the inside. I've compared this to the original and it is exactly the same. I had to punch some extra holes in it because it didn't fit me before. I don't know about you guys, but I do not wear my belts on my hip. I only ever wear belts around the waist. I'm not the biggest fan of the belt. I think it's too thick. Belts are supposed to be there to nip your waist in and stuff. That doesn't seem to be happening with me. If anything, it's just adding thickness to the waist. But the good news is you can wear it on the outside of a coat and it looks cute like that. Oh God. I can't get it up. Hey. <laughs> oh my God. Ugh. Right. <laughs> Here's another one that was very, very popular. Who loves off-white? I do. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Whoa, -hoo. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, I just went for a cup of tea and now I'm losing my mind. Ding. This belt is amazing. This came in the most incredible packaging. I'm talking branding, the packaging. It came in a Ziploc pouch. It had an official tag on it. The quality of everything felt luxurious. The quality of the belt itself 
feels luxurious. I honestly think if you put this next to the original, you would not be able to tell the difference. Even if you got a fine tooth comb, I know I'm really selling it to you guys, but you don't understand. <laughs> Let me show you a close up, right? This is so heavy duty. It, it, it's so, the clasp is so strong. The material that they've used is, <laughs> it's unbreakable. There is not a single loose thread going on here. And all in all, I'm so sad that I didn't get it in gray and black and all the other colors because something has happened to the seller, but do not fear. They will never be gone forever. They just relocate. <laughs> Can't get rid of them that easily, guys. Sorry. So if you do a little bit of hunting and you know the tricks, it wouldn't be hard to get hold of. This was 13 pounds and so it should be really. Um, I think 13 pounds is as much as you should really pay for a belt. There's no material out there that justifies this being whatever price it is. I'll put it up on screen probably. I'm just causing myself more work with the editing, but go on. Sorry, future me. Yeah, I, I love wearing this to just elevate my outfit to the next level. This can literally change the entire style of your outfit if you just wear this belt. Okay, so I'm briefly gonna talk about the t-shirt shirt I'm wearing. This t-shirt is cute obviously because I'm wearing it. <laughs> I've only worn it a few times because I'm a little bit scared about what the washing machine might do to the print. So when you touch the print it's shiny. It seems to be pretty firmly on. <laughs> it's not sewn in. The material of the t-shirt is pretty nice. It's kind of got a bit of a slinky method. Slinky method. <laughs> Slinky kind of element to it. It's actually quite stretchy. Can you see? It didn't come with any fancy stuff. Didn't come in a special packet. It didn't even have a label. <laughs> but really, does anybody care about the label? For me, it just itches the back of my neck. So I would have cut it out anyway. And whilst we're talking about Machino. Guys, I have no idea. I have no idea how I managed to get this stuff. When I actually look at it and I actually look at the collection that I have and this massive pile that I have next to me, which you can't see on the camera, but let me just tell you, it's freaking huge. <laughs> This is one of the items that I yearned for. I was staying awake in my bed late at night thinking, I just, <laughs> I just need the handbag with the smoking on it because it's edgy. I'll tell you a secret. It's not really a secret at all, actually. <laughs> I went to the Machino store and I fell in love with the Machino pill bag. Now there's two of them. One of them looks like a packet of pills and it's wrapped around. The other one is like a turny tube of pills. The turny tubey one to me is the most amazing bag I've ever seen in my life. I'm pretty sure that it's a thousand pounds. Some might think that this is actually quite controversial, but I think it's edgy as fuck. <laughs> That's my style. I want people to look at what I'm wearing and to talk about it. That's my prerogative, so. <laughs> this one is so funny though, let me show you. So, it looks pretty legit from the front, right? Fashion kills. Yes, it does. Inside, the lining is pretty good quality. However, there's no logos or anything. And then you look at the side of the bag, it says, warning, quitting fashion now greatly reduces serious risks to your health. Oh! <laughs> I swear one of these days, guys, I'm gonna fall off that chair. <laughs> what is a health? <laughs> I guess we'll never know. <laughs> is it a health or is it a typo? You decide. I don't actually want people to think that I spent a ridiculous amount of money on an item of clothing. I actually think it's a positive thing and it's a funny talking point to have that typo on the side. Because to me, guys, I am more proud of myself for managing to find this for £11 than I would be if I'd have actually paid retail for this. Oh yeah, so the pill bag. I haven't got the pill bag yet. However, I found it 
on Dolls Kill. You know why I found it there? Because there's this girl that I watch on YouTube and she was actually talking about how it's unethical to be promoting this kind of stuff on handbags, etc. She was talking about the pill bag and I was like, Ugh! I think she thought that that was Dolls Kill's original design, but it's actually completely stolen from Machino. So yeah, interesting fact there. Moving on. Who likes Gavinci? I didn't even know who they were until I started shopping on DHgate, but apparently they're a designer. I have learned so many things about designers from DHgate. It's crazy. These I can tell you now, they feel really good quality. There's no logo on the silver buckle, so don't get your hopes up. But I think they've still got pretty good marks for the durableness of the shoes. They, they feel very strong. And they've got the printing on the sole. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, wow, these don't look worn at all. You know why? Because I cannot <laughs> function when I'm wearing these. And that is the problem. I bought these thinking that they were gonna look so cool in the summer. They were so versatile. I really love the design, guys. <laughs> I'm actually really sad that I can't wear these. So other than the fact that currently I have an ingrown toenail and it's very, very painful. Sorry, TMI. <laughs> I can't wear any shoes right now, but I especially could not even try to put these on right now. So you're just gonna have to imagine my little footsies. There we go. That's what my feet look like in them. <laughs> Looks pretty cool actually. I am not even exaggerating here. These are the most painful shoes that I've ever tried to wear in my life. Imagine if someone got a metal chain, wrapped it around your foot, and then tried to crush it. That is what it feels like to do one step in these. I cannot even remember. Oh yeah, <laughs> I got them from DHgate, obviously. And I can't remember the price. I'm pretty sure they didn't cost anything above 20 pounds. Okay, there's still more. This one's a real funny one. I have always wanted the Machino belt that has all of the letters that can move and stuff. I think that belt is so much cooler than the Gucci belt and I don't know why the Machino belt wasn't more popular than it was. Well, back in the days of I offer, I found the belt for £11 and when I opened the packaging, would you believe what they sent me? <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> I mean, when I said I wanted the letters to move, I didn't necessarily mean like that. <laughs> Moshion. I don't know, is it a vibe? <laughs> yeah guys, I should have worn jeans really for this haul but <laughs> comfort is everything right now. <laughs> Yeah, I really feel comfortable right now. Really, really, really super, super comfortable. You can imagine what it's gonna look like, can't you? It does actually look really good with jeans. The only problem is the actual belt itself looks like trash. The leather looks ridiculous. I mean, it, it's literally just plastic. The letters, I fear the whole thing is just gonna fall off one day. Probably is. This is nothing like the belt that I ordered. Which brings me on to a very funny story. So back in the day, I used to work at a stately home. So this one day we were serving a coach load of elderly people, pouring coffee for them, you know. And then a Along comes this old lady. She's got old lady clothes on, old lady hair, you know, the curly gray hair. <laughs> I'm sure it was a vibe back in the day. She was wearing this long floaty pleated skirt with flowers on and stuff. And then right around her waist is this massive, obnoxious machino belt. When I saw, <laughs> when I saw this, I did question whether I was actually hallucinating because the belt was completely out of context compared to the entire outfit. And another thing was she was supposed to be wearing it around her waist, but her waist was that skinny that it was kind of just like hanging loosely around her hips. And <laughs> I just saw the machino belt. It was the, the belt the belt that I wanted. I just saw it and without even thinking, I just went, oh, I love your belt. <laughs> I stopped serving coffee. I wasn't interested in anything else. I was looking at this belt and I was like, she's got the machino belt. She's got the machino belt. I need that belt. What? Why is she wearing it? What? And I, I think I must have come across a bit strong when I said, oh, I love your belt. And I'm pretty sure I jolted forward. <laughs> this lady gave me one look. She kind of looked like this. She was like, 
she was absolutely terrified of me and she didn't reply she didn't say anything and i said would you like tea or coffee and she was like tea. so i poured her tea and i was just like i want to talk to her more about that belt what where'd she get that belt from and then the whole day i couldn't think about anything else i wasn't focused on what jobs i had to do that day all i could think about was I need that belt. And I think she probably looked at me and thought that I was gonna rob her or something. <laughs> I just, I just don't understand. Anyway, okay, here's a cute little essential item that I think everybody has access to and everybody can find pretty easily. This item I actually got from AliExpress. I also have a Louis Vuitton one, but I gave it to my dad. It was for the iPhone 6 and so was this one. And unfortunately, I just haven't got around to buying myself another one. Also, my phone has a pop socket and I find that they are just the most practical thing ever. I think everyone needs to have a pop socket. For anyone who doesn't know, this is a pop socket. This was about £10. Might have actually been eight. I don't know. But I love the fact that you can hold it like this. This was so convenient for me, like if you're taking pictures or something. And it's got the cutest, cutest little ring thing. You can detach this as well. So you could just have this on your keys. And also it comes with some form of authenticity on the inside, which is always a really nice detail. I appreciate when they do stuff like that because it makes you feel like it's more real so yeah you can find these on aliexpress you can even find them on ebay and you can defo without a doubt find them on dh gate so okay are you ready this is a scarf that i got this scarf is from dh gate you can obviously see what brand it is the material feels beautiful. It does feel really good quality. The funny thing about it is that I bought this in the bag. I put it in my wardrobe and completely forgot that it even existed. <laughs> That's when you know that you have a problem. But I'm glad that I reminded myself that this exists in my wardrobe. Oh, wow. Why have I never worn this? This is beautiful. You know, when you just see some, hold on. <laughs> I always see people wearing scarves and I just think it looks so expensive. <laughs> that fucking chair. <laughs> fucking chair. The fucking chair. <laughs> so, how extra does this look? You just got like the machino, got all the jewelry, you got the Hermes. Let's just add some more trash to this, shall we? Why don't we just put this? <laughs> what? <laughs> For God's sake. I have such a problem. I know that, guys. That's the end for today. By the way, before I log out, <laughs> this is from DHgate, if I didn't mention that earlier. If you like this video, make sure to drop it a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Love you, bye. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns.